Hey guys, Dave Bags here, and today I want to talk about Titanfall 2. I want to talk about Titanfall 2's next DLC, and I want to welcome you guys to my Bagcast. Um, this is my radio style format that uh, that I do from time to time. And you guys, I mean, if you guys are familiar with my channel, and you guys have watched my videos, and you guys have heard me preach, you would all know that I love Titanfall 2. I love Titanfall. And I've told you many times that Titanfall is the greatest first-person shooter game ever made, in my opinion. And then Titanfall 2 came out, and I still stand firm when I say it is the best first-person shooter game available right now. Now, Many people don't like Titanfall 2. People are looking at the numbers. People are looking at the fact that, you know, the sales are not as strong as they should be. The sales are not as strong as Respawn wanted them to be. But that still doesn't take away the fact that I love this game. And it still doesn't take away the fact that I firmly believe it is, in fact, the best first-person shooter game out there, bar none. Now, I know my opinion isn't going to be the same as everybody else's, but I'm just giving you guys my opinion. And a lot of you guys have said, you know, you don't say much about Titanfall 2 that is negative. And that's because I really had not had a whole lot to talk about negatively uh, when it comes to this game. I've already mentioned to you guys in the past, I've already said that I don't like Sonar. I don't like Map Hack. And I don't like Particle Wall. That's a new one that I'm getting annoyed with. And I don't like the fact that when I'm playing Amped Hardpoint, my teammates come into the Hardpoint with me and they don't amp it. They capture the Hardpoint, then they leave. Well, the whole purpose of Amped Hardpoint is to amp the Hardpoint. That's how you win. So these are things that I've criticized in the past. So when people say I don't criticize the game, well, there you go. And I've said it in the past. I've said it multiple times, but that doesn't take away from the fact that I like this game. And now I want to talk about Titanfall 2's next DLC that's going to be released pretty soon. And basically, you know, this is apparently going to be um, derived around six versus six pilot versus pilot mode or modes. And, um, uh, they talked about this new game mode called Live Fire. And it's basically, like I said, 6v6 pilots only. I just don't like the fact... I, I don't like pilots versus pilots. I never have. And uh, that's why the game is called Titanfall. There's Titans in the game. You know, My whole purpose is if you don't want to play a game that has Titans in it and you want to play against just people, go play Call of Duty. You know, I'm a little I'm I'm a little bothered by the fact that Respawn is kind of pushing this pilots versus pilots in a game called Titanfall where Titans are supposed to be the 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 first thing you you know, the most important thing in the game. You know? So now they're coming out with this game mode called Live Fire and it's basically not going to feature Titans. And teams are going to compete, you know, in a, in, a, in a five round, you know, best of five rounds, pilots versus pilots. And when you die, you basically don't respawn. They have something called, they're going to introduce something called stacks and meadow maps. And basically it's going to be narrow maps. They're going to be smaller maps and it's going to be designed to fit the game mode live fire. So what does that tell you guys? What does that tell you? When you compare the DLC that's going to be coming out for Titanfall 2, what does that tell you when you compare it to the DLC that came out with Titanfall 1? When Titanfall 1 came out with their DLC, you got maps. You got maps that you can play any game mode that you desired, and you can play on those maps. Nope. It doesn't look like it with this one. In fact, I... I, I I tweeted to Respawn. I tweeted to Vince uh, Zampella. And I specifically asked them, will you be able to play other game modes with these new maps, with these new stacks 
and Meadow Maps. And I never got a response. So I am a little bit disappointed because it seems like they're trying to speed up the game even more by designing smaller maps, taking the Titans away, and turn it into a Call of Duty game. This, these two maps, these two maps, in my opinion, are going to be the same type of map that you'll find in Black Ops 3, 2, and 1, which is Nuketown. And they're going to slowly start moving away from making Titans the most important thing in the game. And I got to be honest with you, that bothers me. That bothers me a lot. They're going to introduce another, another map, apparently, known as Columns. It's going to be a, a new Coliseum map. You know, I, I don't, I, I don't work for Respawn. I don't, I don't, I'm not the guy that makes the decisions. But I am a consumer, and I got to be honest with you. I'm one of the most spoken people around when it comes to the positive message I try to give out to everyone when it comes to Titanfall 2. I can't tell you how many times. I've basically pimped this game, and I'm not getting paid, but I pimp it for a reason. I pimp it because it is a game that I think people need to start playing, and it just seems like guys like me that want to play the game for what it is aren't being heard. Instead, the people that are being heard are the ones that uh, seem to want that Call of Duty type atmosphere when it comes to Titanfall 2. And I'm not going to mention names because I don't find it rewarding and I think it's counterproductive for me to talk about other YouTubers. I'm just not that way. But if you go out and you start watching videos that some of the YouTubers out there have made about Titanfall 2 that typically don't play this game, they seem to want a faster paced game. They seem to want, at least from my accounts, at least from what I've seen, they like pilot versus pilot. Well, of course they like pilot versus pilot because they're coming from a Call of Duty type atmosphere. They don't like Titans. Well, I'm sorry. The game is called Titanfall. The game is called Titanfall 2. Respawn introduced six brand new Titans. They pimped these titans they had titan trailers for each one of these titans and when this whole thing started i thought wow we can customize our titans we've got six titans to choose from they're put in every single game mode with the exception of pilot versus pilot and i thought all right i'll give you pilot versus pilot fine for all you call of duty people out there that come over to play titanfall 2 if you don't want to feel like you're alienated go ahead play pi pilot versus pilot if that's what you want to do go play it not me i'm going to play game modes that have titans in the game because it's called titanfall and now i'm upset and i have every right to be upset because i am one of the biggest supporters of titanfall 2 around i may not have the subscribers that some of the others do but, but I'm going to tell you right now, I've, I've had nothing but good things to say about this game. But I'm a little concerned, I'm a little disappointed that we're going to have three brand new maps for the second DLC. Two of the maps are Stacks and Meadows maps, catered to 6v6, and the other one is a Coliseum map. So guess what? We're not going to be able to play Titan versus Titan on these maps. We're not going to be able to play Amped Hardpoint. We're not going to be able to play these game modes on those maps because they're designed to encompass just pilots only. Now, I'm not going to lie. When it comes out, I'll probably play it. I want to, I want to give it a fair assessment. I want, to, I want to give my overall assessment of the game modes as I see fit. And what do I do? What do I do? Well, I play it. Then I make a, a, a judgment call. But from what I see right now, this live fire game mode is going to be just like playing on Nuketown, except you're not going to respawn. I don't know, guys. You know, I was expecting to have three maps, just like they did in Titanfall 1, three maps that were big maps that would encompass Titans and that would allow you to play different types of game modes on them. So we can utilize these maps in any type of game situation we wanted because guess what some people don't like to play amped hardpoint 
okay? Sometimes I don't like to play amped hardpoint. Maybe capture the flag, maybe, maybe attrition. I still love this game. I still think this game is the best first person shooter game out there. But this second DLC, so far from what I've heard, from what I've read, from what I've experienced in doing my research, I'm finding it to be a thorn in my side. And I'm gonna be really disappointed when I play this live fire game mode on these maps. And if I like these maps and I can't play it when I'm playing Amped Hardpoint, uh, Attrition, or any other game mode, I am gonna be extremely disappointed. And, uh, and that's it. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Tell me what you guys think about what I said. Do you guys even agree with me? Maybe some of you guys don't. Maybe you guys are Call of Duty fans and you're like, Dave Bags, you know, we don't agree with you. And that's fine. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shoot you down. I'm just offering my opinion. I'm giving you my frustrations and I'm not gonna call people out to do that. That's just not me, man. I'm not gonna do it. And as always, guys, Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And as I said, this is this is this is one of my favorite types of videos to make. I love doing these radio style broadcasts, man, because I can just go all over the place and it's fun. It's a lot of fun for me. Again, remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you like what you see, if you like what you hear. I am Dave Bags, and I will see you guys next time. You guys have a good one.